When you are thinking about buying a home, you basically have two options. You can buy a resale home or you can purchase a new construction home. Today we are going to go over the pros and cons of new construction, and there are a lot. I'll try to keep it short and sweet, and if you stick around until the end, I'll tell you the number one reason right now is a great time for new construction over resale for military buyers. So let's go. So you've decided you want to purchase a new construction home. Let's go over the pros and cons of all things new construction and why you may or may not want to go that route. My husband and I have purchased two homes and both of them were new construction. One was a quick delivery where it was already completed and the second one we built from the ground up. And let me tell you, there are tons of pros and of course some cons to go with doing this. Make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell for notifications as I post weekly videos with all things Quantico Living. The number one pro of new construction is that it's just that, new. Everything is new. The roof, the HVAC, the water heater and appliances. You have peace of mind that everything is going to be working the way it should be. To go along with this, you will have a few different warranties with new construction. Typically, the builder will have a one year bumper to bumper warranty so that if anything comes up that first year, the builder will fix it. Then you will typically have a 10 year structural warranty as well. You should also make sure to fill out all the warranties for all of the appliances, HVAC, water heater, and windows. This comes straight from the manufacturers and they typically have great warranties for their products. The next pro you have is you are able to customize your home the way you want. Each builder does things a little different with some giving you more options and others, but you will have a lot of choices to make. I love that we were able to choose our countertops, flooring, cabinet style and color, the siding of our home, and we even got to pick out our own lot. I'll have future videos that go more in depth on the choices you can make in the building process and the cost that comes along with that. Just know that it is a huge perk to be able to make some of your own choices on the finishes of your new home. When building new construction, your home is going to be extremely energy efficient. Compared to a resale home, this can make your utility bills a lot lower with new construction. Building codes are always changing and getting better over the years, so typically the newer the home, the more energy efficient it will be. One of the nice things about new construction is you get to watch your home being built from the ground up. This allows you to get inspections done throughout the process. I highly recommend doing a pre-drywall inspection so you can get anything that may come up before the drywall gets put in, and then when the home is finished, you can get another comprehensive inspection done so that the builder can fix anything that might come up before you move in. I'm going to go a little into this a bit later on, but just know that there are a lot of builder incentives that go along with purchasing new construction, especially right now. Okay, so we've talked about some of the pros. Now let's get into some of the cons. One of the biggest cons to new construction is that if they do not have a quick delivery home ready to go, the wait time to build is typically long, usually six to nine months. This timeline can shift depending on weather, materials, the contractors that are building the home. Most of the time my clients who have built homes have stayed close to the closing date that they were given, but I've also had delays on a few clients that have gone months past the original date given. So this is definitely something to keep in mind. The next con is the base price that is listed is not going to be your final sales price. Most of the time they are not including the price of the lot or any type of upgrades that you may want or need. We typically see at least 10 to 20% of the base price added to the sales price. So you definitely want to go into the building process with a set budget and have proper expectations. When buying new construction, everything is new and that is great, but it also means that you will have the flat builder grade paint, no blinds, no fencing, and sometimes the builder will lay sod down for your grass and other times they will plant grass seed. So you will really need to nurture the new lawn to keep it looking great. The last con we are going to talk about today is living in a construction zone. If you are one of the first houses to be built, then you are going to have to watch and live through the construction of all of your neighbor's houses. When we built here in the area, we were the first home to be built out of 55 homes. It really never bothered me, but it can be a pain sometimes. Big trucks in the road, workers listening to loud music, lots of hammering going on, and last but not least, a chance of getting a nail in your tire. I was lucky and never had one, but other neighbors weren't so lucky. 
So there are a few pros and cons of new construction. I said to stick around until the end and I'd let you know why now is a great time for military buyers to purchase new construction. The builders are offering crazy incentives right now to purchase one of their homes. They are usually homes that are considered quick delivery, so they are already built and ready to go. Most of the time you can get all of your closing costs covered by the builder. You'd have to use their preferred lender, but in the end, not having to pay money out of pocket at closing to buy a brand new house is worth it. So message me and let me know if you'd like to learn more about new construction and how it all works here in the Quantico area. I'll post a link in the description with all new construction homes that are currently listed in our area on the MLS. Sometimes purchasing new construction is going to be the way to go and other times a resale house is your best option. Make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell for notifications as I post weekly videos of all things Quantico Living. Until next time!